WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we've got a bit of a mixed bag out here. And that is the Dow trading higher by 141, the S&P higher by 16, the Nasdaq higher by 45. The Russell 2000 is out in four points. That's less than two tenths of a percent. Semis are up 30. The trannies, what a big move today, although well off their highs, are up 935 bucks. They're trading out at uh, about 16870. Gold is off 750 right now. Silver down two and three quarters percent, or two and three tenths percent, down 56 pennies, trading out to 2350. Let's go spend some time and take a look at our uh, indice charts out here. So uh, give me a moment. We'll change the uh, screens. And in the upper left hand corner, in a moment, you'll see the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones, as we take a look at this, here's what we know. We know that it's TD9 count top was negated yesterday with a close above that high. That suggests that we continue to move higher. What we still haven't had out here is a test of that oscillator and change line. That should take place. I just don't know when. And without a topping signal, we can't really make that call just yet. There is no topping signal today. Bar number four of a TD9 count. No topping signal in the S&P 500. Today will become bar number five. It negated its TD9 count pattern last Friday. That suggests a strong momentum move to the upside. It too needs to test or should test its oscillator and change line. But not until we get a topping signal will we be able to really make that call. The NDX 100 bar number five there as well negated its topping signal last Thursday strong move and finally the Russell 2000 joined the crew yesterday with that big wide range of bar to the upside you can see it took out two TD9 count tops out there and that is a bullish move the semis very similar to the other indices out here, only in bar number four of a TD9 count. That suggests that price should continue moving higher. If you take a look at that bar on the uh, Dow transports out there, I mean, I had to really do a double take. It was away from my uh, desk for a while. This got up to a high today of 18,246. We're talking from a low. A low today, the open was 15,966. 15,966 to 18,246. I've never seen anything like that. How about we're seeing it now? Uh, hey, one thing is for certain, although it's given up a lot of its gains, I don't have any kind of bearish signal out here. Uh, spot follow takes well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That puts the wind at the sails of the uh, bulls out there. And uh, so that's what we've got. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White with the Power Trading Hour. He'll be up next. Tom O'Brien will take us on home. I'll see you back here tomorrow, 1 o'clock sharp. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.